Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be jumping back into the Seven Deadly Sins Challenge. Now I haven't played this for a little while, so I'll probably have to give myself a bit of a refresher. But from what I do remember in the last episode, um, we finally talked to Akira about Lena. Um, we finally introduced them, so he finally knows now that like he has a daughter. And he took it rather well. I know that it was like a bit of a shock for him, but he, overall, I think it went really well. And so I feel like now that's gonna kind of take a lot of the pressure off of Roxanne's shoulders. And I feel like now it should make things a little easier going forward. But yeah, we'll get more into the details when we actually get into the game. So if you guys are excited, go ahead and leave a like on the video and let's get into it. My mama always said, girl, you're troubling. And now I wonder, could you fall for a woman like me? Okay, so we have just loaded in. It is like eight in the morning and Lena and Roxanne are both sleeping. Um, I do want to give myself a quick little refresher as to where we're at with the rules, just because like I said, it's been a little bit since I've recorded for this. If I'm not mistaken, I think Lena is actually going to be aging up into a child this episode. Um, she should be... Oh, she has a fear of fire. Oh, sweetie. Um, yeah, so she has one day left. So she's going to actually be having her birthday tomorrow. Um, and then she's gonna be a child. So we're really excited for that. And then uh, with Roxanne, we are currently, we're currently an adult. I think she just had her birthday in the last episode. And then we only have to witness the death of a Sim for the public enemy aspiration. And then we're done with that. And then we are currently at level nine of the criminal career. So we're actually super close to like maxing that out and we're actually really close to completing this. So just to go over the rules really, really quickly um, to see kind of where we're at, we just have to do the career uh, and the aspiration. We only have one thing left for each of those. We've already mastered the mischief skill. We have to get in a relationship to carry on the lineage and then break up with them. We did all that. Um, when your child is a toddler, you get angry or mean whenever your toddler does something bad. We've been doing that. When the toddler reaches child, that's when uh, you start to kind of get your relationship with your child back up, which we will be doing, you know, I think over the course of this episode. Max the friendship bar with your child. And then later in your adult life, you meet the other parent again and then, you know, rebuild your relationship up. So yeah, so we're actually doing really, really well. Um, I think the first thing I wanted to do this episode is actually get Akira to move in. We talked with him a little bit in the last episode. You know, they still have, you know, a negative romance bar, but their friendship is starting to kind of grow back. And I feel like it would just make sense that like now that Akira knows that he has a child, <laughs> that he would want to be present and that he would want to like help take care of her, especially seeing, you know, like how she's been living um, up until now. So I feel like he definitely would want to to be here and uh, to help to take care of her. Okay, you can get up. It's like noon. Uh, why don't you make some food for you and Lena? And then we're gonna invite Akira over. So uh, let's go ahead. Oh God, she's uncomfortable. Uh, let's go ahead and make a fruit salad and then we will call him over. So maybe he'll have brunch with us. Uh, Cause yeah, we definitely need to have a talk with him. Also, God, all these dishes are like lying around everywhere. Clean up, please. So she's feeling better. Um, I feel like now that she's actually had a chance to talk with Akira that she she's feeling a lot better. She's feeling a lot happier. Um, of course she's hungry though, <laughs> but um, I'm pretty optimistic about how things are gonna go. Dang, girl. She's good. What is your cooking skill at? At level nine? She's about to max out the cooking skill. Wow. That and then her handiness is at level seven. And then of course, mischief is maxed out. But yeah, she's got some pretty high skills. Okay. Um. Okay, so Lena, she's still sleeping. She's still tired. Okay, so before you eat that, we're actually gonna call over Akira. God, look at all of this red. This is so bad. Poor girl. Okay. Where is Akira? Hang on. He's not here. Is he around? Is that why I can't invite him? Hang on. Oh, uh, hello. Okay. Anyway, uh, I guess we can call him over. I'm gonna have to run out here after him and ask him to hang out. Okay. I can hang out for a bit. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. I'm gonna have them go here together. Um, and then we are gonna eat some food together. It's almost Lena's birthday. Yes. We're gonna actually throw like a birthday party for her. I feel like after we have a conversation with Akira, um, we're gonna ask him to, you know, to move in or he's gonna, you know, offer to move in so he can like help take care of Lena. And uh, I feel like he would be the one that he would wanna throw her a birthday party and he would wanna, you know, take her shopping and like give her like a really, really good birthday. And so I feel like that's probably what we're gonna do. We're gonna have them eat together. I feel like, you know, they would kind of talk about it and be like, 
I know things are awkward right now and I get that, you know, maybe you don't really want to talk to me. I, it's been so long, but like, you know, and being like, yeah, well, I mean, like we have a child together. I feel like we should at least try to make this work. Um, not necessarily in a romantic sense, but just, you know, building a, trying to find common ground, kind of trying to build that bridge back. Um, just so that way Lena can actually have like her dad in her life because, and Roxanne's saying like, I've, I haven't been a good mom and I don't know how to be a mom. I don't know how to be a parent. And him just being like, you know, what? I feel like it would be best for Lena if I moved in, if that's okay with you. You know, I don't want to make things weird. I don't want to make things awkward, but I, I would like to be present in my daughter's life. And if that's all right with you, you know, we can sleep in separate rooms. We, uh, that's fine. I just, I want to be here for, for her. And Roxanne kind of just taking it in stride and being like, I think you're right, you know, she she's not the type to ask for help and she's really bad at asking for help, but you know, telling him that like I can't do this on my own and I I need your help. Um yeah, so <laughs> regardless, even even though they've kind of decided on this, they they're still feeling a little bit awkward about it, but go ahead. I feel like she can ask him to move in, which it's the game is not going to let me. Um through, you know, asking just because they don't really have a good relationship at the moment. So I am just going to cheat it. I'm going to have, you know, add him to the family. But like they talked about it, you know, it, it was like a mutual thing. So even though their relationship is like a little rocky, you know, it was agreed on that like this, this would be best. So um, now Akira is a member of our household. He's happy, but he's definitely also having like a lot of anxiety. He's, you know, he's like, I need to recharge. I need to just kind of take some time to myself. Uh, you are late for work, apparently. Um, I don't know if, you know, going into work uh, when you only have an hour left is actually going to do anything. Uh, Lena is up, though. She is feeling really hungry. End up throwing a tantrum, but let's go ahead and get her some food. Don't worry. It's okay, sweetie. We've got a little fruit salad for you. It's okay. Oh, and he, she's actually checking on her and, and seeing, like, if she's okay. Um, maybe you, you might want to get started on fixing that dollhouse. That might be a good start to being a better mom. <laughs> fixing the dollhouse that you destroyed for no reason. Yeah, she's also feeling really anxious as well. Like this whole situation is just like, oh God, like Akira has moved in now. So now we have to see each other every single day, but like it, it's for the best. Yay, he made $40 because he didn't go to work until he only had an hour left. So I do, I actually, I need to figure out where to put him. I need to figure out where he's gonna sleep because they're currently not gonna be like sleeping in the same bed. Hmm, how am I gonna do this? I am kind of debating getting them just a whole new house, but I might save that for later. But I feel like right now, as soon as he moved in, it would be kind of very like haphazard and just kind of like, well, here's a mattress, you know? Uh, so I feel like I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna go ahead and just give him, you know, like, like an air mattress to sleep on or something like here in the living room. So he doesn't have to like sleep on the couch, you know? So I'm thinking maybe he brought just like a little like cot over. So I'm actually gonna move the door over a little bit uh, and then I put the bookshelf on the other side. So we can at least just sort of put a little, <laughs> a little cot here. Um, this is kind of awkward and not very spacious, but you know, it's, it's very haphazard. It's very just like, yeah, here's a, here's a little bed for you, you know? Um, just until we can kind of get the situation sorted out. But I feel like this is very just kind of like on the fly, you know, solution. Oh, but he immediately came home and like picked up Lena. She's feeling betrayed. She's still feeling like really upset with Roxanne, but she still, she wants to hug her and she wants to be funny with her, but she's still feeling like really hurt. Oh, and Akira just wants to hold her. Like he literally just wants to like hold her and pick her up. Like that's so cute. <laughs> Literally, like he just keeps picking her up. He is feeling kind of stressed though. Why don't you bond a bit with Lena? Why don't you go and play some dolls with her? I feel like that would make her very happy. Okay, so Roxanne, what do I need? Do I need you to do anything? Oh, we need a, uh, a cake for Lena. So actually, why don't we get started on that? I know her birthday is technically tomorrow, but I don't want her to end up just kind of aging up like without warning, uh, cause then she'll just end up being sad. And I want this birthday specifically, like for Lena to be like a really good one. I really want like Akira being around to, to really help. Oh, he's like taking out the trash. Thank you. Also, uh, before I forget, something I did notice um, about Lena is that I, 
I did accidentally give her the angelic trait. Um, I did. I forgot that one of the requirements for the challenge was that like every heir um, is not allowed to have the angelic trait as a toddler. So I did take it off. So she's currently just a charmer. Um, she's only going to be a toddler for like one more day. So I guess it really doesn't matter. But yeah, like I wanted to just uh, adjust that really quick because I, I actually forgot about that part of the rules. Um, so she is a charmer. She's not. She's not um, angelic anymore. <laughs> Okay, so the cake is done. I'm gonna go ahead and just immediately put some birthday candles in. We're gonna celebrate her birthday early because again, I don't want her to just age up. Aww, she's talking to her little stuffed animal. She's so cute. Okay, so Roxanne's gonna go sit down. He's gonna go pick up Lena and then we're going to celebrate her birthday a little early. Yay! It's Lena's birthday. And she's gonna be aging up into a child now. She's gotta do her little waddle over here. Yay, so Lena has aged up. She is now a child. Uh, let me take a quick look at what her traits are actually going to be. Um, Cause we're gonna soon be moving on to generation two of this challenge. So she is going to be romantic, non-committal and outgoing. She's gonna be a serial romantic and she's gonna be in the entertainer career. So, I mean, right now as a child, the only trait that I can give her is outgoing. Um, of course, being like a charmer, she just kind of always naturally really liked people. And I feel like even though she had a very difficult uh, toddlerhood, I feel like as a child, she would grow into being a bit more of like that natural outgoing person, especially now that Akira like is in her life. So we're going to go ahead and make her a social butterfly and she's outgoing. Uh, she currently has the highest skills in social and creativity, so I think we're going to focus more on those. So let's see what she looks like in Cass. Okay, so after I took off her skin details that she had on, this is what she looked like underneath. And oh my goodness, you guys, I know I said it before, but like she really, really is the spitting image of Akira. Like I'm never going to get over that. Okay, you guys, so here we have little Lena. Um, I went ahead and did all of her outfits. She is completely finished. Um, I did give her multiple everyday outfits just cause like, she's so cute. I really like her a lot. Um, so these are her three main, like just everyday outfits. Um, and then, yeah, and then I, I went ahead and did all of her, her other outfits as well. So, so yeah, so here she is. She is adorable. Um, I'm really excited to see, you know, how things progress with her now that she's a child. So here she is uh, in game. She is still feeling a little angry um, just from being around Roxanne, but we will be working on getting our relationship with her back up. Uh, for now, I think before we actually get into playing again, we need to fix her room. So yeah, so like I said earlier, um, Akira is definitely going to be, you know, buying her like things for her room. Um, we're going to get rid of all this toddler stuff that we don't need. I'm going to leave the dollhouse and then I'm going to leave the bear or the, the dog because I know that she really likes those. But everything else I'm going to go ahead and get rid of um, so that we can actually give her like, you know, like an actual, an actual room that she will enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so I, I may have gone a little bit overboard <laughs> with her room, but like I just could not stop decorating because like I really just had this thought that like Akira would would just go all out for her, you know? He's trying to like actively give her like the best birthday that he can. So um, I really liked the thought that he would just go all out on her room and whoops, and, uh, and let her just pick like, you know, anything that she wanted and it's just like whatever you want. I will buy it for you. Like, I, I don't care about the cost. I don't care, you know, uh, like whatever you want, like I will get it. And uh, so he went and like let her pick out like all this stuff. So uh, so I really, really like it a lot. I don't know how much of it is usable. Um, I did put, you know, the dollhouse here and then I put, you know, the toy box here, shrunk down the dog a little bit. I put the activity table here. So I just, I don't know how much room she's gonna have to actually like do it. I'll have to play test. Obviously, if this stuff doesn't work, then, you know, I'll have to fix it around. But for now, that's like her room and I really like it. It's so cute. I love it. Right now, she's feeling a little angry. <laughs> Why don't you guys all get some cake and um, and maybe you'll feel a little bit better. Oh, sweetie, she immediately started like looking at her, at her homework. It's OK, have some cake. It's your birthday. It's getting kind of late. It's like 10 p.m. I think she's going to have her first day of school tomorrow. Um, so let's go ahead and get her in the shower. Thank God I don't have to like give her a bath anymore. Go ahead and get her in the shower and I'm gonna send her to bed. Roxanne, she's not even tired. She's just gonna be up. There isn't really much I can do for the time being. Uh, she goes into work in 20 hours. So, okay, so she does actually go into work 
tomorrow and she's in the excellent so we actually might be maxing out her career this episode as well and roxanne's good she doesn't really need to do anything so why don't you just come in here and talk to him for a little bit because we do want to try to get their relationship back up you know if they are going to be living together now and co-parenting their their child um i feel like it it makes sense to probably try to get their relationship t to a better place why are you feeling uncomfortable? Oh, he's he's overthinking, but he's he's okay. He's feeling better now, at least. Compliment his outfit. We're, we're just trying to be friendly. That's all we're trying to do. Just ask him how he's been. Um, ask him, you know, how are things at work going? How are things in, in your life? Oh, did he just flirt with her? Oh, he did. He just, oh, I didn't even catch that. He flirted with her. Oh, yeah. Like, I know it happened in the last episode. They just started flirting, like without me having to do anything but like they really they really do just really like each other maybe we'll compliment him a little bit don't go in for like a flirt but just just compliment him yeah and he he flirted right back so he's definitely definitely still into her and their their romance bar is already starting to go down it's still awkward but it's but it's starting to go out of the negative oh blow a kiss he's just doing this all by himself i don't even have to like i don't have to do anything She's starting to feel a little bit tense, you know. She's still not 100% used to him being here and, you know, this new awkward dynamic that they have. But their relationship is mending itself, like, pretty quickly, I might add. She wants to be funny. Okay, so maybe try to try to lighten the mood a little bit and crack a, a joke. What about you? What do you want? Oh, he's impressed with video game prowess. Oh my god. It's like, wow, look how, look how good I am at this video game. <laughs> He also wants to play an instrument and he wants to buy a stereo. Maybe when we have a little bit more room in the house, we, we might buy a stereo. I am thinking that when they like actually officially get back together, I will probably move them into a new house. Um, some, you know, a house that's a little bigger. He wants to work on writing a song. Oh yeah, he's like a musical genius, huh? That's like his like aspiration is he wants, uh, wants to like write music. He has level seven singing skill. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. He's like a really good singer. So I guess if he wants to do that, then then we should probably get him an instrument so he can like practice writing music. All right, so she's getting a little tired. Instead of napping, why don't you just go to bed? And then uh, Akira, I'm actually going to send you to bed as well since you are really tired. So why don't you go sleep on your little air mattress that you brought over? Oh, Lena is up in the middle of the night. It's like four in the morning, sweetie. What are you doing? She's just up. She's feeling playful. To be fair, her sleep schedule was kind of off because uh, Roxanne never regulated like when she was supposed to go to bed. So I feel like, you know, her sleep schedule would be kind of all out of whack. What does she want? She wants to get to know Roxanne, which tells you a lot that she knows practically nothing about her mom. And then she wants to finish her homework as well. So maybe we'll get her on that. Um, maybe doing her homework before she, you know, starts her like first day of, of school. But she's just gonna quietly sit over here and do her homework. Uh, let's also maybe get you a little snack as well. Maybe have some cereal. Oh, why are you feeling tense? I hate decision making. She's also feeling uncomfortable because she's got dry skin and she's also, um, I think she's just feeling a little tense and stressed because like for a child, like this is a big change. You know, the fact that like her mom never showed her really any affection or attention as a, as a toddler and you know, so she doesn't have like the best relationship with her. And then just all of a sudden out of nowhere, your your dad or your biological dad just kind of shows up in your life and then is like, hey, I'm going to move in and showers her with just like gifts and like, I'm going to buy you all this stuff. I'm going to give you the best birthday ever. Like, I'm, I mean, she's definitely, I feel like happy about that, but like, that's a lot. That's a lot of change for like a child. And uh, I feel like that definitely is making her feel a little overwhelmed. Um, she'll definitely, I feel like, get used to it, you know, but it, it definitely is a very stark change. And I think it is starting to kind of weigh in on just like, oh my god, all this stuff is happening, like, all at once, you know? She's almost done with her homework. It's like six in the morning. Um, so why don't you go ahead and get some cereal before you have to go into school? Nice, and now she's feeling happy. Good, good, good. I'm glad. She's got to go to school in about an hour. Um, Akira, why don't you get up? You know, send her off to school, like her first day of school, with a hug. <laughs> Aw, he reached parenting level one. Good job. Happy birthday. He's still just so excited to like be able to bond with her. I think that's really sweet. 
Roxanne's still sleeping. Girl, why don't you also, why don't you get up and at least like talk to her before she has to go into school? Aw, these two. All right, Roxanne, come in here. At least say something to your, your daughter before she has to go into school. She didn't even walk up to them. Like she just did it from like all the way over here. Come on, go join the conversation. I see awkward encounter. Yeah, it, it's awkward, but you know, at least make an effort. <laughs> oh, there she goes. She's going off to her first day of school. Have a good day, Lena. All right, you two. What are you gonna do? He's just gonna chat with her. Why don't you also get some breakfast as well? They're just kind of like, wow, man, what do we talk about? Like Lena's out of the house. She just went to her first day of school. Oh, he's gonna have to go into work soon, actually which hopefully he'll be able to get promoted. Uh, I don't know because he's only an average right now, but who knows, maybe he'll he'll get a promotion. It would be really cool if they both got promoted on the same day. <laughs> She's got to go into work in nine hours. So who knows, maybe we'll get a double promotion. Also, um, I'm gonna actually also have Lena make some friends at school because we're definitely gonna need her to have some friends. <laughs> Um, for like her future and her, her aspiration. Oh, she's feeling sad. Oh, hopefully, hopefully that won't affect her, her day at school. Hopefully she'll be able to like meet some people and make some friends. Okay, so Akira is going off to work. Roxanne, you have got the house to yourself for the next couple hours. Um, all right, Akira, I'm gonna have you work hard. Please, please get a promotion, make some money. And you, Roxanne, she's just gonna kind of chill. There isn't really a lot for her to do right now um, because she doesn't even have to go in for eight hours. I guess we're just gonna have to wait until Lena gets home because um, there really isn't anything for Roxanne to do. Oh, okay, so customer satisfaction. An irate customer contacts Akira demanding a refund on her new smartphone. He could just give the customer a refund and get back to the game he'd been playing or try to calm her down and talk her through the problem. I feel like he would try to calm her down. <laughs> Um, awesome. Amazing. A surprise move. Akira talks the customer through her problems and appeases her without refunding a single simoleon. And he got a little bit of a gain from that. I don't know if that's going to be enough to actually get him promoted. I'm going to have him continue to work hard. And then Roxanne is actually in a flirty mood from watching TV. So I, w I would say that that would be really good for, you know, maybe her and Akira could like have some time to themselves, but... I think he's gonna get home right as she has to leave for work, so I don't think that's gonna happen today. Oh, Lena has has met uh, he, Heiju while at school. I don't know how to pronounce that, but oh, she made a friend and she just got home. So she only made one, but I think that's okay. It's a good start. How was your first day of school? She's feeling energized. She's a little uncomfortable still because she's got dry skin, but other than that, she's feeling pretty good. Why don't you go ahead and apply some lotion? Um, and her fun is kind of low. Since she is a creative sim, I'm going to have her come in and start drawing with the activity table. She still wants to be friendly with uh, with Roxanne and she wants to meet somebody new. So hopefully she'll be able to make some, some more friends in the coming days at school. Now, who was this uh, person? Oh, nice. Also, who is this person that you met? Heiju Fires. Oh, nice. So, okay. So she made a little friend. I'm really glad. I think Akira should be home pretty soon. How are you doing? Oh, he is. He got the check mark. Okay, so we might actually get a double promotion today. He might actually get promoted. I hope so. That would be really good. So she is in there drawing. Why didn't you invite your, your friend over? Okay, so Lena's friend is on her way. She should be showing up any... Oh, there she is. Hello, Haiju. All right, Lena, why don't you come over here and greet her? If she becomes relevant enough, I might give her like a little makeover. Maybe when they become like teens or something, if she's still around uh, and still relevant, then uh, then I'll give her a little makeover. But for now, why don't you two just talk? Are you enthused about your interests? Maybe get to know her a little. I'm kind of curious as to what her, uh, her traits would be. Oh man, Roxanne, like she brought a friend over and Roxanne is just like, oh my God, another kid, okay. But she reached social level three, good. And we learned that she's good. That's really nice. Ask for advice. I Are you gonna, do you wanna ask Roxanne for advice? Like, I don't really know what advice you'd be seeking from her. Also, oh, he's exhausted. He's been working so hard all day, working hard for that promotion so they can get some extra money, potentially so they can move into a new place. All right, Lena, what advice do you want from Roxanne? <laughs> A balanced meal. Someone said that eating dirt was okay, but someone else said that eating dirt will make you die. 
Is it okay to eat dirt? I feel like she would just be like, if you do, kids are gonna tease you. She's like, I mean, you can do that if you want, but like, you're gonna get bullied if you do. She's very blunt. Uh, why don't, hey girl, maybe get off of Roxanne's computer. I don't think she would like that. Uh-oh, that's gonna, that's gonna piss off Roxanne. Maybe don't, maybe don't do that. Oh, also Manakura is back home with his promotion. How much of a, uh, how much of a bonus did we get? So we got a $375 bonus and he now makes $49 per hour. Oh, and Roxanne is now off to work. So they are literally just gonna cross paths. Okay, so we're gonna have her work hard. Gotta get that promotion for her. And then Akira needs a nap. Oh, she's starting to feel, she's feeling a little sad. Maybe after that little interaction with, uh, with Roxanne. I'm sure that probably didn't make her feel any better. Just kind of being bluntly told like, if you eat dirt, then you're gonna get bullied. She's like, okay, thanks mom. I appreciate it. Okay, so these two are just gonna hang out in here and talk and play together. Oh, she probably will have to be going home soon. Maybe Akira, you've taken a little bit of a nap. Why don't you get started on dinner? Uh, and then after dinner, we're gonna send uh, Heiju home. I feel like having her like stay for dinner is, uh, is good. Don't go on that computer, I swear, little girl. Don't do it. Miko wants to come over to hang out. Maybe don't do that when Roxanne is like not home. Uh, I feel like you'd be like, I mean, not, this isn't my house. Um, I can't really invite people over, especially since like Roxanne's not home. Like, and it would be really awkward if she came back and you were here. She would absolutely bite both of our heads off if I did that. So no. <laughs> All right, so he's making some grilled cheese for the kiddos. All right. So grilled cheese is done. Akira, go ahead and call the girls to the meal. I should really get going. No, wait, I, I thought, did you not want to have dinner with us? Aw. Okay, well, I guess she had to leave. That's okay. Lena and, and Akira can uh, can just sit and eat together. He'd be like, hey, like, how was your day at school, you know? She's like, it was good. I made I made a friend. She's like, I was feeling a little sad at first, but, but I feel better now. Oh man, Akira is so tired. He really needs a shower too. But I feel like he wouldn't want to... Oh no, because Roxanne's not going to be back until like one in the morning. So maybe you should put um, put the food away and then... Oh, Lena's doing the dishes like a good little girl. Uh, I don't think you can actually put... Yeah, you can't put Lena to sleep because it's a bunk bed. Which she's going to bed all on her own. So she's a very good girl. So yeah, so she's going to bed. Uh, she's probably going to have to get up and do her homework fairly early again. Oh, and Lena finished her little picture. I think that's really cute. Maybe put that up uh, up on the wall over here. Okay, so everybody is in bed. Now we just need to wait for Roxanne to come home. She should she should be getting promoted. She's in the excellent, so she... Yes! Oh my god. Okay, I was just saying she was about to get promoted. And she did. She just maxed out the criminal career. So she is now the boss of the criminal career on the road to fame. And feeling a little tense. Um, she's... Not really in the best mood, but she did it. She reached the top of the career. I feel like now, which, how much does she make per hour now? Just out of curiosity, she earned an $8,000 bonus and $445 per hour. Oh my God, that is insane. So I'm gonna probably go ahead and call this episode for today. Uh, so we did get two promotions, one from Akira and then one from Roxanne. Uh, Lena aged up, she's a child now, and we did a full makeover for her and her, you know, new child bedroom. And Akira and Roxanne have spent a little bit of time together. It's still awkward, but they've, you know, started to kind of, kind of rebuild their relationship. It's not nearly as bad as it was. Um, we're, we're definitely getting there. And she, you know, completely maxed out her career. She's now at level 10. So I feel like this is a good place to end it for today. So now that we've reached the top of her career, I feel like in the next episode, we're probably gonna focus more on hers and Akira's uh, relationship building back and maybe potentially getting them back together. So if you guys are excited to see that, uh, go ahead and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so you guys won't miss out on the next episode when it comes out. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.